Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to build a Mad Libs game in PHP. Now, if you're not familiar with Mad Libs, it's basically a game where you can enter in like a bunch of random words, and then you'll take all those random words and kind of like sprinkle them in through a story. And usually because you entered in a bunch of random stuff, the story ends up being like pretty funny. Um, I actually have a picture over here in my browser. See, this is kind of just like a basic Mad Lib. Um, essentially, you're entering in different like parts of speech or different things like nouns or like a person or um, a place. And then all those things that you enter in will get, like I said, sprinkled in throughout a story. So we're going to build something like this, just like a Mad Lib. Essentially, we're going to allow the user to um, enter in a bunch of different words. And then we'll take those words and put them into our story. Down here, I have a little basic story set up. And it's basically just saying roses are red, violets are blue, I love you. So this is kind of like a classic poem, um, but I think it would be a lot better if we mad libbed it up and we allowed the user to enter in some you know, random stuff. So how about instead of saying roses are red, we let the user enter in a custom color. So this would just be like a color. Instead of saying violets are blue, why don't we let them enter in their own plural noun? So. And then finally, instead of saying, I love you, why don't we let them say, I love, and then some celebrity. So I love celebrity. So now, um, instead of saying roses are red, violets are blue, I love you, it's gonna say roses are, and then the color that they enter, the plural noun that they enter are blue, and then I love the celebrity that they enter. So this should be kind of cool. And you can see just over here in my program, I'm printing it out. And in order to do this, we're actually gonna have to get information from the user. So we're gonna have to let the user um, enter in some words that they wanna use in the story. So up here I have this form already set up and it's just action site.php. This is the name of the PHP file that we're currently on and it says method get. And then down here I have a submit button. So this is a, a very basic form outline. And inside of this form, we want to basically prompt the user to enter in some information. So we're gonna have them enter in a color, a plural noun, and a celebrity. So I'm just gonna say color, and then over here we'll make an input tag, and type is gonna be equal to text, and we're gonna give this a name. So why don't we just call this color, and then I'm just gonna say, uh, I'm gonna make a break over here, and I'm basically just gonna copy this and we'll use this same thing for the plural noun and for the celebrity. So over here, we'll make this plural noun and we're just gonna call this plural noun. And then finally over here, we'll do the same thing for the celebrity. And again, we'll just call this celebrity instead of color. So essentially I have three input boxes, three text boxes, One's asking for a color, the other is asking for a plural noun, and the other one is asking for a celebrity. And you can see I gave them all names to match. So this one's name is color, plural noun, and celebrity. So we have our form set up, right? In other words, we have the prompts set up for the user to enter in that information. The last thing that we need to do now is we need to be able to get that information when they submit the form and put it into our story. So let's go down here to our story and I'm gonna show you guys how we can do that. So what I wanna do is I wanna create three variables and each one of these variables is actually gonna store the color, the plural noun, and the celebrity. And inside of these variables, we're gonna store the result of getting that information from the user. So I'm just gonna say color and I'm gonna set this equal to dollar sign underscore get, open and close square brackets, and then the name of that text box. So it was just color. And basically what's gonna happen is when the user submits the form, this variable is gonna get populated with whatever they entered in for the color. And we can do the same thing for the plural noun. So I'm just gonna call this plural noun, and this is gonna be equal to get, and here it's gonna be plural noun. And then finally, we're gonna do the same thing for the celebrity. So we're gonna say celebrity is equal to get, and we wanna get the celebrity. Then, now that we have these variables, we can just print them out inside of our story. So down here, instead of saying color, I can just say the color variable. So this will print out the value that's stored inside of the color variable. Same thing is gonna be for the plural noun. And then down here, we'll just say, plural noun, and then finally, we'll do the same for the celebrity. 
So essentially I stored all of the things that the user input inside of these variables. And then down here, I'm actually going to print them out inside of the story. All right, so let's go ahead and test this out. I'm going to go over to my web page. So you can see over here, we have all of this information set up now. And you'll see down here, this story is basically just printing out roses are blank, blank are blue, I love blank. And then over here, we can actually start submitting some information. So over here in color, I'm just gonna type in magenta, plural noun, why don't we do like microwaves and then celebrity, let's do Tom Hanks. So now when I click submit, all of this information should get submitted and it's gonna get stored inside of each one of these variables. Then those variables are gonna get printed out inside of our story. So let's do that, I'm gonna click submit and you'll see down here that our story updates. So it says, roses are magenta, microwaves are blue, I love Tom Hanks. So we were actually able to make this Mad Libs now. Now obviously the one problem with this Mad Libs is that, um, you know, if I was to like reset this form, this is like showing up here before we actually submitted the form. So ideally we would want this text to show up after we submit the form, like after the users entered in all the stuff and not before. Um, and actually later in the course, we're gonna learn a technique that we can use to do something like that. But for now, this kind of works. And you can see how, you know, we could essentially enter in whatever color, whatever plural noun and whatever celebrity we wanted and it would show up inside of our story just like that. So hopefully that makes sense. And what you should do is just build your own Mad Libs game and you know, you can model your own little Mad Libs story and sort of play around with it. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.